The following VETSIM video has been created by Aviation Pro for the P1 pilot rating course of the VETSIM Pilot Training Academy. Visit academy.vetsim.net for more information. In today's video we're going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create a VETSIM account. And in order to do that, first thing we have to do is go to the VETSIM website, which is www.vetsim.net. And as you can see, we have here the main page, the home page of the VETSIM network with a nice overview of all the events and of course a lot of information. Now of course we want to join VETSIM and as you can see there's already a short uh, bit of information uh, up here. But I'm going to do it this way, we're going to go to the VETSIM member section and as you can see in this area we can, have a, we can click on this link to join VETSIM. So this brings you to the join VETSIM page and as you can see there's a lot of information and some important things you have to keep in mind before creating a VETSIM account. Uh, one of the most important ones, of course, is that you have to be at least 13 years old in order to join the network. If you're 12 years old, um, make sure you just wait for another year. Um, spend some time offline to train a bit more and get to know your aircraft and all the procedures a bit better. Um, as you can see, it's a Ch Children's Online Privacy Act of 1999, so it's a very important rule. and. Um, so just wait for another year, uh, be patient and uh, you'll be fine. So now make sure you read through all this information. Uh, there are a couple of steps you have to go through. Um, make sure you read the VETSIM user agreement and the privacy policy. And also make sure you read the VETSIM code of conduct. And step three is to sign up at VETSIM. Uh, step four is connecting to VETSIM. We're gonna discuss that in a later video. But since we wanna join the VETSIM network and create an account, we're gonna go and uh, go to the sign up page for VETSIM. So click up here and this will bring you to this page. Again, make sure you read the code of conduct, the code of regulations, uh, the user agreements, uh, uh, everything. And uh, you can click here if you want to review it again. And if you've done that, uh, click yes and it will bring you to this uh, form. And as you can see, um, you have to read the following instructions carefully before completing this form. So make sure read all of this before you complete the form. Um, as you know, when joining VETSIM, you gotta have to do a lot of reading anyway, so uh, just make sure you are aware of everything that's in this uh, introduction here. So now it's very simple, just complete the form. Uh, use your real name, your real first name and your real last name. Um, I really recommend that it's not allowed to use initials, nicknames, company names or titles. If you use a false name, uh, you can run into trouble too, um, because, uh, for example, you will never be able to meet uh, real people or uh, becoming an air traffic controller will be very hard. So just use your real name. It's in good hands. So, um, so your first name and your last name right here. Then make sure you enter a valid email address right here and also confirm that email address. Select your age, uh, 12 and under, of course, won't work because you need to be at least 13 years old and uh, select the age group here. A password reminder word, simply a reminder word for your password in case you forgot your password and you need to uh, reset it. Um, state or province, your country, uh, make sure you select the correct country right here. Your primary language as well. Um, there's a lot of languages here you can select. Uh, I am either an enthusiast, a pilot in the real world, an HC in the real world, or I am both a pilot and an HC in the real world. So uh, just uh, select the option that suits you best. And then your preferred region, uh, that's quite important. In my case it would be Europe. And then you have to select a proper division. And as you can see, um, Europe except UK or Russia or United Kingdom. And in my case that would be Europe except UK. So once you've completed the form, give it a quick review and make sure everything is correct. And then you can click on the register me button. Now after you click that button, you will receive an email from the VETSIM uh, membership department. It contains a link where you have to verify your email address and also complete your registration. And after you are accepted as a VETSIM member, you will uh, receive your VETSIM ID and your password. So that's basically it on how to create a VETSIM account. As you can see, it's pretty simple, but you have to do some good reading before you do so. And now you have a VETSIM account, you can join the network and uh, 
connect to the network and we're going to show you that in a later video. Uh, in the next video we're going to show you how to get started, what kind of software you need and some uh, handy tools that uh, might uh, help you uh, with flying on the VETSIM network. So thanks for watching this video on how to create a VETSIM account and we hope to see you on the next video and good luck with flying on VETSIM.